Hi, my name is Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to delete duplicate rows in Excel. This is something that's useful to know how to do when you have a very large spreadsheet and it would be, be very tedious to do that manually. So I have a spreadsheet here. It's a fairly large spreadsheet and it happens to be a list of the members of the Baseball Hall of Fame. And um, the first thing you want to do, and, and I can tell you there are some duplicate rows here that I've, I've put in and then I've, I've randomized the order here just to show you uh, so it isn't real obvious at first. So when you have a, a uh, spreadsheet like this, the first thing you want to do is sort the rows if they're not already sorted. So I'm going to go and I'm going to sort by name in the left hand column here. So I select all the rows by selecting these top uh, column headers and then I go to um, data, sort, and then I'm going to sort by the name. So there we go, sort by the name, and I'm going to say OK. I should point out that the, the actual menu may be different depending on your operating system and your particular version of Excel, but you want to find something called sort. So now we can see the names are sorted alphabetically by name. And if you scroll down a little, you can see a couple of places where I on purpose put in some duplicate names. If you scroll down a little more, there's another one there. And if this was a small spreadsheet, you would just go through and delete the ones that you could see are duplicates. But let's say that the spreadsheet is thousands of lines long, and this, this is something you could encounter. What we're going to do is we're going to use um, some Excel functions to determine if the contents of one row is the same as the contents of the previous row. To do that, we're going to use some nested if and and statements. So let me just start typing in the formula here. And the, first of all, the first one uh, we don't need to check because it's the first one. It doesn't have one prior to it. So we're going to go to the second one and we're going to test whether all of the contents are equal to the line before. We're going to go equals if and then open parentheses. And then, so if that equals that, and it's and because all of them have to be true. And then we're going to have another and that equals that and another and it's very tedious but you, you, that equals that and then finally that equals that and then we're going to start closing the parentheses very carefully watching to make sure we've got the right number of parentheses and then we're going to say if all of those ands are true um, we're going to put in um, duplicate and if it's not true we're going to have not duplicate. You can put pretty much anything you want in here but I'm just doing this to be very very clear and then close the parentheses and sure enough, okay we got it right. All right now and we'll just for, for the heck of it up here we know this is the first one is not a duplicate so we're just going to type this in. Okay. Now we're going to copy this formula down to the whole range of cells. Let me just do a few, few at first here until we get to one we know is a duplicate and test it. Okay, so this one, this row is a duplicate of the one before it. Sure enough, the, the, the formula works. And now we're just going to um, take that formula and drag it all the way down. Look at the scroll bar over to the right until we, until we get to the bottom. And bear with me. And we're almost to the bottom, and there we go, we're at the bottom. And we're going to scroll all the way to the top. Now, the, the last thing we're going to do, because this is a formula here, we, we, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sort the whole table by duplicate and not duplicate. But when we start sorting it, it's going to rearrange things, and, and the formula may or may not work. So what I like to do is I like to, I like to just take all of these that are, were formulas and there's actually a little trick if you if you do a shift control and down arrow it'll go all the way to the bottom and select everything then we're going to select all of that we're, we're going to copy it and then we're going to go paste special and we're going to paste as values what that does is that takes everything we did with these formulas and it just now it's just text it's not a formula anymore but it's text that says whether a line is a duplicate or not so the last step we're going to do is we're going to sort once more so we're going to go to data you know, with everything selected, including our new duplicate column, and we're going to sort by duplicate, and it's going to be alphabetically um, A to Z, so the duplicates should be before the not duplicates because D is before N. And there we go. We've now found all the lines that were duplicates, and then we can just go through 
and we can select all those and we can delete and then uh, everything else it was still was sorted alphabetically and there we go and then we can go the final thing we can do which since we don't need it anymore is delete this duplicate column so I hope this has been helpful I'm Ted and today I showed you how to delete duplicate rows in Excel thanks for watching Thank you.